Miguel is in his third year of medical school. Going through med school is a challenge in itself, and finding ways to pay his way through it is even tougher. It is around 60,000 pesos per semester. Hindi pa dyan kasama yung mga gastusin namin sa mga libro, sa mga, uh, mga tools na kailangan namin. At actually, lalo na pag nag-clerkship, hindi dyan kasama yung binabay, yung gastos namin sa mga medical supplies sa mga pasyente kasi most patients sa PGH um, cannot afford kahit mga simple syringes and kami mismo actually yung sumasagot nun. But his difficulties could end soon. The government released 317 million pesos in tuition assistance for medical students in eight state universities and colleges. There's a catch though. It comes with what is called a return service agreement. For every year that they enjoy the tuition assistance, they have to stay in the country for one year. And they can do the return service in various capacities, like become, do their residency in uh, tertiary hospitals of the government. They can serve in provincial and district hospitals or even become doctors to the barrios. About 2,000 students stand to benefit from the program, which also seeks to increase the number of doctors serving in government hospitals, especially in remote areas. UP Manila offers a similar program to its students after it discovered that majority of them leave the country after graduation. They usually do their residency abroad. Often, they stay there. Miguel understands why. He points to the country's poor health care system, another problem he hopes will be fixed soon. Kahit let's say wala silang pakailam dun sa sweldo, nakikita nila na sobrang ano eh, dahil pupunta sila sa community, sila lang yung doktor doon, wala pa silang minimal support pa yung nakukuha nila. Halos minsan yung ibang gamot sila na yung sumasagot. Nakikita natin, nagiging self-defeating siya. If a student violates his return service agreement, he'll have to pay the government his full tuition plus interest. It's a tough obligation right after college. And it may cause more complicated problems for med students who accept free tuition but end up shifting courses along the way. But with a skyrocketing cost of higher education, it's an option many willingly take. Ina Andolong, CNN Philippines.